This video will show you how to play a game of Super Hack Override. If you're looking for specific details on proxy swaps, individual turns, or the details of specific cards, check out the other videos on our channel. Otherwise, strap into your rig and let's get hacking. The objective of the game is to be the first person to accumulate enough hacker cred without getting too many government cards and being sent to hacker jail. The required cred and the dangerous number of government cards depend on the number of players, as you can see in this table. To set up, first determine how many people are playing. If it's not exactly five, remove the diskette from the game. If it's only two people, also remove four random cards without looking at them. Shuffle the deck and deal out all the cards. In a five-player game, the hacker with the diskette always goes first. If there is no diskette, the hacker who won last goes first. If this is your first game, the youngest hacker goes first. Each turn, choose one card either in your hand or face out in front of another player to play. Remember, some cards like the Socket Puppet and Stolen Goods can't be played when face out. Once you've chosen your card, read it out loud and do what it says. If it's a card from your hand, place it face out in front of you. If it's in front of someone else, put it back into their hand. If you're not playing at a table, just turn the card face out in your hand so the other hackers can see it. That way you can play anywhere. Some cards provide proxy swaps in addition to their other effects. This will be listed in the card text, and the card will have this symbol. If the card you played gives you a proxy swap, do that after all of the other effects. Choose any two cards other than the one you just played, and then swap them. Remember that face-out cards stay face-out, and face-in cards stay face-in. Once you've finished your turn, check to see if anyone, including you, has too many government cards. These high-value cards are identified by this symbol. If anyone is over the limit, they immediately go to hacker jail and are out of the game. Turn all of their cards face-out. They are valid targets for proxy swaps, and you can play them like any other face-out card, but they stay face out afterwards. They do not participate in monorail or weather control center cards. Once you've checked for government cards, check to see if anyone still in the game has enough cr hacker cred face out in front of them to win. Add up the cred values on all of the face out cards in front of each player. If it's over the goal, they become the next supreme super hacker and the game is over. Congratulations! Shuffle the cards and play again. So that's how you play a game of Super Hack Override. If you'd like to see more details on any of the game mechanics, check out the other videos on our channel. If you'd like to know more about the game and watch as it develops, like, subscribe, and or follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.